Folks out on a midnight diaper run. Because full funeral wires number one waits. Waits until the very last. Until the very last diaper is finished. <laughs> on the baby. Coming off the baby. And then she tells me that we're out of diapers. And the funny thing is, is we're not out of diapers. We've got plenty of diapers at the house. But Filipino wife number one didn't think it was important to bring the diapers with us on the trip to Manila for three days. Eh, just bring the diaper bag. So I'm over here hunting for EQ. XLs, baby. Show me the orange color. And right here we go. This, uh... 28 pack what is that 286 on them guys now i'm looking for the for the big mac daddy but it looks like these might be because those are eq pants you don't want to go with the pants folks you want to go with the regular diapers trust me i don't see the big pack so i'll have to just get a few of these get a 28 piece and i think that's 286 i ain't messing around on the papa. Oh, let's go with the uh, diapers. Ain't gonna expire, so why? So I constantly find myself having to go out and buy them. I should just have a goddamn. <coughs> I should just had a tractor trailer back up to the house, offload. Now, folks, the reason I'm doing this video, I'm here at the SM store. I want you to look around and never, ever, ever take the blue basket. This is the big cart. Take the big cart. Do not take the blue basket. And I'm just going to give you a look around here. I'm going to show you in a few minutes why you never take the blue basket. Let's see what you think. Okay, I've just got a few items. I'm gonna get me a uh, blue basket. But if you go with these blue baskets, you better tackle on an hour and a half to two hours waiting in these lines. Always go with the big car. Now I gotta, for some reason, they don't put the wipes, the baby wipes next to the diapers. I don't know why. They put the wipes over here. Next to the uh, the adult diapers. So I come over here and get some wipes. You never want to run out of these when you're traveling, my friends. Let me go with these nurses here. Ooh, that was cracked. I'll get the powder scent. Go to powder scent. How much are these guys? These are 94 pesos and 75 centavos. So what I go with on the wipes, um, I always get a couple different kinds. That way, in case the baby suddenly develops some type of rash or whatever, you can just switch them up, you know? So there we go. Four packs of diapers, two packs of wipes, because the only time we use these is when we're traveling. We're at home. It's time to change the, di uh, the babies. We just take them into the uh, CR and basically give them a fresh shower, freshen them up. But you gotta have, you gotta have that for traveling. Now, the only other thing I need is milk, but the baby's milk is in the premium area, which is outside. So you gotta come over here by the diapers and the wipes, and then I gotta go outside to purchase the. Uh, the milk. Now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show you why you don't. Why? Purpose of this video is to show you why you never grab the the blue basket. Okay, right here. You see that line? That's the line. It starts right back here. So that's, that's the line right there. 
that's the whole line to come up here and get into another line to wait for the blue baskets now they do have like three things open but if you got the blue basket you have to wait in that line and there's another blue basket line over there personally i'd rather take my chances in one of these big cart lanes taking my chances down here on this end but there's the other blue basket lane so basically uh you're waiting you're waiting a long ass line get the big cart save yourself some time trust me so even though they're they got big carts in front of you it's only like four transactions and you go to the blue basket lane there's like 50 to 60, maybe I'm exaggerating, but there's at least 30 transactions. Getting the money out, paying, getting the receipt. There's 30 transactions. And here, they got a few more items, but it's just, uh, you know, four transactions. So much quicker to go with these. And what a lot of people do, you'll see the gangsters, they take the blue baskets and they put in here. And then when they come up, they can choose. Do I go to the blue basket lane or do I go to the big cart lane? But I'm gonna tell you, there's no reason to do that because you will always spend more time in the blue basket lane, I promise you. That's why I'm a big card, big card dude. I recommend you do the same, my friends. Okay, but really, this, this dude in front of me has got the best system. Here in the Philippines, folks, a lot of times, you, you spend so much time standing in line. It's just part of it. So what this guy did, he gets a buggy, lets his wife stand in line with the empty buggy and now he's just going from aisle to aisle bringing and putting stuff in here she's standing in line he's shopping and so by the time he gets done with the shopping she'll be up there at the front it's genius i'm gonna try that trick next time because there's no way that she's gonna beat him to the front of the line before he gets all the shopping done it just doesn't happen here so that's the best that's the best most ingenious thing put your spouse girlfriend kid whatever with an empty buggy and you just run around and start putting, bringing stuff up to the front. That's the only way to efficiently navigate it. But definitely stay away from the blue basket aisle. God, not a great idea. They got 30, 40 people standing in line. There's only three counters open. And my line is not making much progress, but I know I'm gonna beat anybody over there in the blue basket line. Tricycle and had these, had these diapers tied together, but it ripped one out here, a blowout. But regardless, I got my diapers. Take care of the babies. Got a, got a thing of milk. Get them a milk. get a room at the cool market we had to come down to this other place and I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute but I'm down this I'm just down the street a couple clicks from the SM SM Bacalor it'll probably be the last time we stay over here in Bacalor and I'll tell you the whole story later but yeah so I just I just spent probably I just probably spent it hour and something standing in that line it's just not you know in any of these crowded places in the cities you just got to pick and choose your times or you're just going to waste a lot of time standing in line and waiting so um, anyhow got the business done 
And now I'm headed back. The ladies got food over to the hotel. So they've already ate and I'm starving. Well, that's a cool place right there. A uh, birthing clinic. Ooh, Topsy logs. So you got some bars down here, wild orchids. It's been a long time, folks, since uh, since I've hung out down here at this part of Bagahor. But I would like to go back and try out that restaurant that we passed next to the birthing center. Wow, that's a burger spot. So little little uh, hidden gems down here. There's some hidden gems right down from the SM. That are uh, just walking distance, but you probably want to take a try. But where I'm at, I'm down here. I'll have to wait till I pull in. I can't remember the name. I keep wanting to say Araneta, but that's not the name of it. Folks, tonight I'm just shooting this quick video on an iPhone 8 Plus. Yeah, the footage is going to be a little bumpy. You get real used to that image stabilization on that GoPro. Uh, being so good that it is. And then when you swap back over to this iPhone, you realize how... It's not really how shaky the iPhone is, it's just how smooth the GoPro is. distance from my uh, SM Baca Horror community. I'll give you a proper walk into our this spot tomorrow when the sun comes up. And here we are. 